Here's a demonstration of how you can leverage Autodesk Force Effect powered by Autodesk Simulation to conduct a design iteration at the conceptual phase of the design process. So in this example, we're going to create a new diagram and we've got an engineer that is interested in trying to minimize the reaction force across the piston in a soft tail mountain bike. So he'll start out by taking a snapshot of the existing design, importing that snapshot onto his device, unloading it as a background inside of the force effect application. Once we've got the background loaded, we can immediately start to draw our diagram right on top of the background to replicate the existing system and modify the design to suit our needs for the new concept. So here we're adding the elements for the frame. Next we'll add the simple lines of force for the back of the frame. And then we'll zoom in here so that we can add the force elements for this rocker arm. And notice that we've got a piston here at the back which the engineer wants to minimize the reaction force across such that he can use a smaller piston and reduce the weight of the overall bike. Now we can add an element to attach this rocker to the frame. One of the other capabilities we've added here is the ability to weld a joint. So if you don't want it to be a pivot pin joint, you can simply weld it in place. If you're not sure what the commands are, we also have an automatic tooltip that pops up to show you what the description is. If you click on the tooltip, that'll actually take you to the help topic, topic referencing this particular tool. Now that we've got the rocker arm welded, we need to add some welds to the frame. And we'll go ahead and weld point C. And we want to go ahead and weld the back of the frame as well. Okay, now that we have the frame basically set up, we're ready to add some supports to the system. We'll start out by adding a pivot support to the back of E. And then we're going to use a sliding support to represent the forks at the front end of the bike frame. We'll try to align that with the fork so our reaction forces are proper. Now notice the system is telling us we've got an overconstrained problem. That's because we have a fairly con um, complex layout here. Uh, we've got multiple systems here that we're trying to analyze, and that's perfectly okay. Force effect will handle this just fine. Now that we have a solvable problem, we're ready to add our input force. So we'll say that we're going to study for a 200 pound load sitting on the bike. And notice that the force has scaled off the screen fix that, you simply go into edit mode, click on the background, and select the scale forces to fit option. Now that we can see our forces, we have another innovative solution here, which allows you to put in an unknown force at any point in the system, and we'll back solve for equilibrium to give you the reaction at that point. That's a perfect tool for this particular problem, because we can ask for the unknown force across this piston. Notice the system automatically solves for it and tells us what the reaction will be there given the setup and load that we have. Now at this point we can go in and start looking at each of the reactions across the members, isolating those, or we can go in and start actually iterating on our design. So the design attempt in this case was to try and minimize or get a lower than 115 pound reaction across the system. So the user can simply start dragging and manipulating the design to try and minimize the force. Notice, without ever having to worry about setting up the problem again, the user is able to iterate in a conceptual state to come up with all kinds of different potential design solutions with minimum problem setup. So here he's got one that gives him an 83.2 pound reaction at the piston, allowing him to use a much smaller piston for the design. He's very happy with that, so he's going to take that geometry and he's going to export that geometry out as a DXF file. This will allow him to import the DXF geometry into his detailed design tool of choice and flesh out the rest of the design.